Hi guys, welcome back to Ages Paintings. Um, today's video is going to be completely different from what I usually do. I usually do my pouring uh, paintings and I share my process with you. Today though, it's going to be a different one. I started playing around with the resin and I have been experimenting with it. I did, you know, covered my some of my paintings with resin as a top coat and it came out beautiful i loved it and i'm also trying uh to go towards jewelry to create those small beautiful trinkets with resin and maybe turn it into jewelry um so i've been playing around and doing a lot of different techniques there's lots of good artists out there that i am learning from um uh, one of them would be mixed media girl daniel cooper uh miriam uh, Miriam with a Y. Um, so I watch them and I learn from them and I just try to do it, you know, try to duplicate. But, you know, of course, everyone have their touch. So <laughs> not all techniques that look like easy, they're not that easy. It takes a, a lot of time, patience and practice to get to the point, of course, where they are. Um, so I've been playing around with it. I have tried so many different techniques, but this is the one that I kind of stumbled upon when I was doing it. Um, so I was playing with the with the alcohol inks and um, I dropped uh, um, just like a drop of ink in one of the mold, like in one of the part of the mold. And I was like, oh, I don't want to waste it. So I just poured some resin on it at that time. I was like, it was just like the end of resin, right? I was just like running out of it. So it was like in the end. So I just poured a little bit in there to see what will happen. What came out of that really surprised me. I was shocked when I saw this. This is the first ever piece that I created with this technique. Um, I hope you can see it. Let's focus. No, doesn't want to focus. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that light reflection in there. But yeah, this is the piece that was the very first piece, piece that I created with this, this technique. And I was like, wow, that's incredible. Um, I should do more of these. And that's when I started playing around with this. And every time I would do it, it would create something completely different something completely incredible and I just love them look at that and I started sharing these on on the groups and I've been asked several times <laughs> to show the process like how I do it and I tried yesterday uh, but there was something wrong something you know it didn't work didn't really record um, and when I was doing that, I was actually creating this wonderful piece. Um, so this one, uh, I don't know if you can see it properly. There we go. This one came out incredible. It looks like a tree of life. Um, but I'm so sad I lost that footage. Uh, so, but this is like the same process that I do. So this is the one I posted yesterday. And thank you so, so much for for the love and support that I got from everyone it's incredible I can't I just can't <laughs> I am so over the moon right now oh my god I can't pick it up um so I decided that you know I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start I'm gonna do the uh, recording again and I'll show you my process oh this one is not showing up properly it's really cool though inside come on no I thought okay anyways um yeah, there's two more so i am going to show you the process of course it's not going to create anything like this like exactly like this come on focus there we go this is another tree so cool so it's not going to be the same of course every time with fluid art that's the thing every time it's going to be something new something something more exciting It's going to be very different from what these look like. Look at this one. This is so pretty. I wish I could show you like properly how it looks. It looks really, really so nice. So let's start. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to mix the resin. 
and I'll come back when it's all ready to go. See you in a second. Okay, so um, to do these beautiful hearts, I use uh, these alcohol inks. These are from Let's Resin. Um, so let me just show you the box that I got. So this is it. This one is Let's Resin Alcohol Ink and these are, um, I think, High Concentrated Alcohol Inks. Yes. So these are the ones that I've got. Um, so um, the resin, I have done this technique with both resins, like the normal, you know, the, the ones you use for, uh, uh, to, uh, for the top layer of the paintings, I guess. Um, so I've done it with, the, with that one as well. So let me show you. Um, right now I have only used crystal resin. That's uh, this one. So I have done it with this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I hope it's focusing. Um, also, I've also done this technique with uh, the um, casting resin. And that's also by crystal resin. So this one, so that, the other one was one to one ratio, uh, but this one, this is their new one, they just, it just got released. This is Casting Resin by Crystal Resin, and this is two to one ratio. So I have used both of these. Today I'm going to use this one, the Casting res Resin. Uh, so I already mixed my resin, um, I just mixed a little bit and I mixed it around half an hour ago and just left it to cure a little bit so it get a little bit thicker before I can use it. So now the technique is really really simple. I'm sorry if you don't have enough light in here. The light is behind me so if I turn it on you will see a lot of shadows. So I am just relying on the sunlight <laughs> because I am in my garage. Um, okay so I'm just going to use these little cups that the, the silicone ones um, because they're just so easy to control so I'm going to put a little bit of resin in here I can still see some bubbles in there even though it's been sitting there for half an hour So all I do is I take my ink, um, shake it real well, so it's really mixed well. And then I just drop one drop, like I just put one drop of ink in the mold. So let's do these small hearts. Let me just bring you closer. I don't know if I can bring you closer, hold on. Yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> so I'm gonna put in one drop of this ink right in the middle there we go okay and I'm gonna take my resin and really carefully I'm gonna start putting it right in the middle of that drop so hopefully you're able to see it Okay, and then just keep your hand there until it gets full all the way. And that's it. Okay. And now you leave it. No touching. So I'm gonna do, um, I have like four different inks in here. This is the one that I just use. It's, uh, I think it's just red. It's already starting to create the shape that it wants to do. Um, let me do another one with the same ink and the small heart. If I can open it. Okay, one drop only. Oh. Okay, so it went on the side. I tried it with two with two drops, but it doesn't really do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do, since it kind of kind of got divided, I'm just gonna take it out. This is just baby wipe. These are lifesaver. 
my opinion. Okay, so let's try it again. There we go. Okay, now again, I'm just gonna fill it up a little bit more so I have enough resin. Okay. All right, again, make sure I just kind of pinch it like this and I try to aim to the middle of the drop. And then just stay there. Okay. Awesome. Now it will just do its own magic. Let's move on to the bigger heart. I think I'm going to do the red purple, or purple red, is it purple red? Okay, again, one drop. Oh, I got two drops. So this way you will see what will happen. This was a bigger heart, so I'm hoping it'll be okay. Those were really, really small, so I wasn't going to take a chance. But this one has two drops in it. Let's see what happens if we put two drops. Okay, again, in the middle, and just keep it there. I'm going to keep doing it until it's completely full. You will know that when your ink goes to the bottom of the heart. And it fills it up, that means it's full. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Okay, let me make a green heart, like a big one. So that one had two drops. Let's see how many drops I'm gonna be able to get in this one. One. Okay, so I'm gonna do just one drop in here and then we'll see what happens to that because this one is bigger heart. Now the resin is getting really thicker so it's going really slowly which is good because I notice if it's like really, really, you know, runny when it's you just mixed it it doesn't really it will do it but it wouldn't create those beautiful shapes okay here we go so it depends on how big the opening is uh, of your ink bottle like sometimes it will let go like one drop is much bigger but for another one it might be really small like my red ones I feel like they put in more ink than the green or the blue one so you can see now this one has only on the side and the middle doesn't really have much so I might actually I'll, I'll, I'll just keep watching it if it actually start creating it that something like this then good if not then I'll put something in the middle and kind of make a different heart out of it so let's move on to these tiny ones so let me create let me use the green again because the green has like really small opening I've noticed and it just gives like a really tiny drop so maybe for those tiny hearts this will work better Okay, let's do this. OK, 
okay I tried it still got some up okay wow one more Wow, that looks like a bird, doesn't it? Okay. So I will create shapes, but it just depends on how the ink comes back. It leaves a little bit in the middle and that creates the shape. This one looks like a bird right now. But we'll see. Uh, I think by tomorrow is like when I will really be able to see. I still have a lot of resin left. So I'm going to keep filling in um, all these different ones. And I'm going to maybe make this video a bit faster for you. So you can just see me do it. Uh, but it's going to be a bit faster. okay so i'm gonna let these do their own magic and i'll come back tomorrow and we'll unmold together and see what kind of nice shapes we get okay i'll see you tomorrow okay so i'm back this is the next morning exciting time uh, this is the time to unmold so as you can see they're all ready i see some really interesting shapes in there okay so let's start unmolding i'm gonna start right here this little one okay wow that looks really interesting Cool. Um, I'm gonna take all of them out, and I'm gonna try to show you maybe with the with the background, um, and see if I can I can focus it. If not, then I will try to do it with my phone to see if I can show you the shapes. But it's a really cool shape in there. Wow, looks like a. I don't know. It's. Wow. Okay. Anyways, so that's the first one. I had done one like this one before. I showed you before in the beginning of the video. Um, this one. So... They look completely different <laughs> this one has like the kind of like this 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 outline this one has more ink because i think this is yeah this is the one this is one with one drop of ink and this is the one with two drops of ink so you can see the difference between both uh, this one is more fuller on the outside um i don't know if you can still see this inside it's not catching the camera is not catching how many wings or those branches are in there Okay, here we go. Here I am with my phone. I'm sorry if it's going to be shaking a little bit, but at least it, I know how to control this. So this is the purple one. You see the detail in that? Oh my God, that's so beautiful. So pretty. You can see those small veins in there. That's the front. And that's the back. Okay, 
Now here we have the green one. It has a little bit of this ink on top, like a line. It doesn't bother me, I think. Yeah, it adds to it, but it might not be the, the best piece. This is the back. Okay, and now let's go to the circle one, the blue. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. And here is the small heart. Look at that. It looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a tree, I guess. Just amazing or lightning bolt. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me what it looks like. It's beautiful. Wow. Look at the detail on that one incredible okay let's go to the green ones the small ones <laughs> this is so cool looks like an animal of some sort that's one and here is the second one focus yeah love them okay so here's my teardrop <gasps> wow there's something about this red ink look at that what does that look like so nice and that's one and this is the other one maybe this could these could be like earrings it could be a set Wow, I love this. Okay, and last but not the least, tiny ones. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my hand is actually covering it, so I don't know if you can see the whole thing here. This is the other one. So these are going to be earrings. Wow love these okay let me just quickly show you the small one <laughs> i don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not you see it's kind of like sparkly inside I didn't put any sparkles or anything it was just one drop of ink that's it and here's the other one okay so this is it this is all there is to it um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have given me. Um, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe, um, like, and share if you want. Um, and if you do uh, do this technique, I would love to see the results. Please do share, do share with me. And also, if you're doing it on your channels, I would love it if you can shout out to me. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.